What up, man? This is Nocturnal Thoughts, man. This is just going to be a really quick video I'm going to drop um, in response to the interview with Christina Pouncher. Puncher, Pouncher, P O N C H E R. You know, she was explaining how Deontay Wilder pulled her to the side and kind of explained why he was doing the silent treatment. Don't take it personal, strictly business. I'm just, I don't have nothing to say, et cetera, et cetera, right? See, this is the part of the game of boxing where it leads me to believe that, you know, this is rehearsed and staged and it's WWE and, you know what I'm saying? This is the part where you start to separate the boxing and the entertainment from reality in my mind. So I watched a video last night, like a top rank, all access kind of following Tyson Fury, you know what I'm saying, leading up to the uh, press conference, him on the plane with Sugar Hill and him arriving, you know what I'm saying, to the conference. I don't know if it was just poorly edited or chopped up incorrectly, but Tyson Fury was on the jet. Correct me if I'm wrong, go watch the video for yourself and correct me if I'm wrong. Tyson Fury was on the jet on the way to the press conference and was already talking about Deontay Wilder is going to you know not say anything he's already doing the silent bit treatment you know what i'm saying like he had already knew that deontay wilder was going to come on there with the headphones and the sunglasses go check it out he said he pretty much was like we already know that deontay wilder has opted not to say anything at this press conference and then and you listen to the opening of the press conference before deontay wilder's introduced before tyson fury is introduced um they 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 introduced Malik Scott as if we are only going to be asking him questions before Deontay Wilder even came out. There's like you know there's a new intro, introduction to Deontay Wilder's corner, his new trainer Malik Scott. We're going to be doing a Q and A with him shortly, and then they brought out Deontay Wilder. Then they brought out Tyson Fury, and they talked about talking with Bob Arum and Tyson Fury. But there was never really a mention of. Q&A with Deontay Wilder anyway or I can't say anyway it seemed like to me they knew that Deontay Wilder was going to come out there and not say anything before it felt like that was kind of planned kind of rehearsed kind of scripted and that starts opening up the doors to all of this being like Jake Paul said or Logan Paul an assimilation Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Go check out that All Access. It was following all their champions. Um, you know, the monster in a way of. I don't know the female's name. She was calling Clarissa Shields, talking about starting up a girl band. And uh, then check out Tyson Fury on his journey to the press conference, getting on the private jet, getting off the private jet, taking pictures, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature. And watch, tell me in y'all opinion, was that bad editing? Or was that Tyson Fury already knowing before they got there that, you know, he was going to do his thing, say what he had to say, and that he already knew that Deontay Wilder was not going to say anything. And then the way they introduced Malik Scott, it almost sounded like they didn't really have plans on doing a Q&A with Deontay Wilder from the jump off. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was no secret. It seemed like Bob knew. Tyson Fury knew, Malik Scott knew, you know, Christina Pouncher knew, and of course Deontay Wilder knew. It seemed like that was already in the so you know, make up make of it what you will. It is what it is. I'm not really tripping off of it or really that concerned, but it's just one of those things where I'm watching it and I'm like, it looked like to me this is already planned out anyway. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like that when it comes to boxing. I don't like to be able to see the forest for the trees man if you're gonna entertain me on some reality show type stuff then you can miss me you know what i'm saying only time i sit down and watch reality shows is when i'm relaxing with some leisure time with the uh you know you dig what i'm saying salute 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 nocturnal thoughts man signing out